undertaking industry engagement. Today I'm talking to Phil Bevan, a national advisor in the vet sector. Can you please provide an overview of the area of industry engagement? The standards for RTOs 2015 require RTOs to implement a range of strategies for industry engagement. Firstly, let's cover some of these terms. Industry, as used by the standards, refers to bodies that have a stake in the services provided by the RTO. These can include, but are not limited to, enterprise industry clients such as employers, group training organisations, industry organisations or industry regulators, industry skills councils or similar bodies, industry training advisory bodies, and unions. So then industry engagement with these bodies refers to a range of strategies such as partnering with local employers, regional national businesses, relevant industry bodies or enterprise RTOs, involving employer nominees in industry advisory committees and or reference groups, embedding RTO staff within these enterprises, Networking in an ongoing way with industry networks, peak bodies or employers. Developing networks of relevant employers and industry representatives to participate in assessment validation. Or exchanging knowledge, staff or resources with employers, networks and industry bodies. So in implementing any of these strategies, RTOs must ensure training and assessment practices are relevant to the needs of industry and informed by this industry engagement. What is meant by relevance to industry? To ensure training is relevant to employers and to maximise learners' opportunities for employment, advancement or further education, RTOs must engage with relevant industry stakeholders to establish appropriate contexts, methods, resources and trainers and assessors requirements to deliver training and to conduct assessment relevant to that industry. Engaging with industry stakeholders is critical to ensuring the RTO's training and assessment is aligned to current methods, technology, products and performance expectations for the workplace tasks specified within that industry's training package or accredited course. So industry engagement strategies must be used to systematically ensure the industry relevance of the RTO's training and assessment strategies, practices and resources and of the current industry skills of the trainers and assessors used within the RTO. How do RTOs ensure that industry feedback is used systematically? By engaging with industry, RTOs can be sure that training and assessment practices and resources continue to meet the needs of industry, particularly in areas where technology and or techniques are changing rapidly. RTOs should use the information they gather through the industry engagement process to design effective strategies for training and assessment and to select suitable resources, trainers and assessors. Importantly, RTOs must be able to demonstrate that all strategies for training and assessment have been developed in response to information obtained through the engagement activities they have undertaken with industry stakeholders. This information could include the qualification, course or skill set that best meets the needs and knowledge of an industry. It may also include the most relevant electives for the training, in accordance with any packaging rules that are required for the training product. The mode of study and the training and assessment methods to be used by the RTO must also reflect the needs of industry. RTOs must also consider specific industry needs when developing and implementing these strategies. For example, some industries or occupations may require a reasonable level of English, such as security officers, allied health professionals, childcare educators or other job roles, where it is important that graduates are able to communicate effectively in Australian workplaces. In such cases, it may not be appropriate to deliver a qualification entirely in a language other than English, and may be appropriate to specify a minimum written and or oral English level as an entry requirement for a course. While RTOs can choose their preferred approach or method for engaging industry stakeholders, the information obtained must be systematically used. So RTOs must retain evidence that they have consulted relevant industry stakeholders and that they have incorporated the stakeholder feedback received into the development and ongoing review of these training strategies. As industry engagement is an ongoing activity, 
retaining evidence of recent engagement as well as the historic activity is needed for RTOs to show that they have consistently carried out industry engagement activities. This often means that the industry engagement is included within service reviews that RTOs undertake for each training product or course they offer on at least an annual basis. Why is this ongoing industry engagement important? When monitoring the implementation of training and assessment strategies, RTOs should continue to engage with industry and seek feedback about how they have provided training and assessment, including feedback on the resources used for both training and assessment. The monitoring process confirms industry's satisfaction with all training and assessment delivery that has already occurred, and also confirms the industry's ongoing expectations for current industry skills and knowledge of the RTO's trainers and assessors. As with any monitoring process, these activities identify any issues or items as they occur, and also ensures that any industry changes or updates are captured for future training and assessment delivery activities. You have mentioned resources relevance as part of engagement activities. What support does industry engagement provide for high quality resources? Resources do need to be fit for purpose for the training package training product and the unit of competency they're being used for, the delivery mode being employed and for the specific cohort of learners and their needs. An industry focus is also critical to ensure that all resources developed, purchased or used are suitable and appropriate for the industry context. For example, resources covering communication in an aged care environment may have a very different approach to resources being used for the same communication unit in a contact centre environment. High quality resources will ideally be contextualised to the relevant industry sectors that the learners are being engaged in and RTOs must ensure that industry engagement activities identify any specific resource needs as part of this approach. In summarising the area of industry engagement, RTOs must engage with a range of industry representatives via a variety of industry engagement activities to ensure that training and assessment strategies, resources and RTO trainers and assessors are fully informed of specific industry needs and service delivery activities meet these needs on an ongoing basis.